Today is um, we are going to drain the uh, pleurax uh, catheter which is um, right here and goes into my tummy and um, allows me to take off this fluid that uh, keeps residing in my abdomen. It, uh, so far we have uh, already drained over the last week four and a half litres of uh, yellow fluid. Now I'm going to uh, sanitize my hands, wash my hands and start the uh, procedure for um, self-draining and um, I'm taking out the vacuum bottle and uh, taking off this tape that's on everything. So, uh, I can unravel the kit, this is a bottle, and that's a very careful point there, that must be, must be sanitised, the sleeve must not have come off, um, and uh, this part stops the uh, plunger, because once you plunge in, then the vacuum goes to work. Uh, this, and um, we close off uh, and control the flow, and I've just Let's see if that's enough. That is uh, to stop the um, flow of fluid until uh, we're ready for it. And then we take out the hacks that are in here. We use that for a uh, crash. Keep it nearby. And, um, we open this, how do I open? The top end. You still keep, still keep them going. Turn it around, you can see from the back. Hey? Turn it around, you can see on the back where you pull. Okay. okay. Now, we won't need all of this kit in here because some of it is for changing the dressing and we have had to change the dressing before because it was so poor it was leaking it, it was leaking and therefore the dressing had to be changed as well but um, I've managed I hope to uh, to get it before it gets to that point so um, not leaking, this is the outer cover that you see there that we won't need today. And now we have the sterile area. This is the area that must be kept uh, sterile. Sure, uh, uh, yeah. Do you have a comment? And handle it underneath so that you don't touch yeah. the top part, which is the sterile field. Yeah. Well, I'll be keeping everything in the middle anyway. Yeah. Of the sterile. Yeah. Now, I don't need to wear gloves, I'll, put, I'll, I'll read the instructions, and if you're dealing with it yourself, you don't need uh, gloves, so uh, it'll make it a little easier to work without those big old fluffy gloves. Ideally, you should wear gloves to keep it sterile, but well, according to the... I will say, I've read the instructions over and over, and it clearly says that you don't actually have to wear gloves. If it's, if it's you, and then I've gone and taken the cap out of sterile area, but there you go. Now, um, the gauze also I won't need. So you can save that for another uh, I'll time. need two of them, and the three uses of the gauze are to clean the um, catheter when you attach it to the bottle, and then clean it again when you take it off and you fit a new cap, the new cap being there. And then the third one is for um, cleaning the site. But that you only do when you um, change the dressing. So this is a, should be a much simpler operation. And it does say in the instructions that you don't take it all the way out, but you get it ready and you do, or can, put it back down in the sterile area. So, 
Here we go. Um, the alcohol swab. Um, and we remove the cap, the old cap, and discard it. And we clean around the catheter, make it very nice and clean. And um, then we come to this very important bit where the uh, nozzle, it must have that on. If it's fallen off for any reason, then you discard the whole thing and use a new kit. And then you connect this till you hear a click. There was the click. And then you um, pull this part out, which allows the uh, plunger to work. And then you hold it by the bottle and the plunger and plunge. And then you release the stopper. And there, she's flowing already. So you can control the flow by the plant if you don't want to um, if it's draining too quickly, you can get a little bit of cramping and pain. Uh, I, I did have some on the last time I did this, but uh, uh, we seem to be all right so far. You can see a steady stream of the, of the color that it's been before, so that's a good thing. And um, my wife's doing a wonderful job, and I think we can You can see the the level rising slowly. But you're not filming now, are you? Yes. Okay. Okay. We've um, it hasn't filled the bottle up quite so much um, this time. Uh, I've had to do a bit of wriggling around and turning a little bit on the side and massaging my tummy. It all seems to make it uh, go through. It's um, maybe there's not so much fluid softer anyway in my tummy, so. Um, Maybe there's, there just wasn't as much fluid as there has been yesterday, which would be a good thing. Um, so now we go to the next stage, which is um, to clamp the catheter. So that stops there. And then uh, uh, this can, I guess, can be laid down there for a moment. And then... Um, we need to um, disconnect like so, and then we get our up hole and we clean this, clean it very much, um, making sure that. Uh, we keep our sterile mat and then we take our new cap, always has to be a new cap, and there's, it's like a bayonet pigeon, like a, an English light bulb um, that you uh, put it on and it, you turn it. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, you turn it until it clicks. And, um, that's the process completed.